Hello, everyone. Welcome to Divine Conversations. My name is Eric. Thank you so much for tuning in. A big old shout out and welcome to those of you that are new to the channel. Thank you so much for joining the family. You're, you're so welcome here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And for those of you that are returning, what is up, squad? So welcome to your readings for November 2019. A big shout out goes out to those Scorpios. Yeah, very happy birthday to the Scorpios. And also a very happy birthday to the November Sagittarians, yes? Can you guys believe that we are almost done with 2019? Like, this is a little bit crazy. We are getting into 2020 soon. That is super exciting. I hope you guys have had a really great year so far, but we're not quite there yet. So. These are your messages for the month of November. Please keep in mind that these readings are general. Yes, these messages are general. So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you would like a look into your own situation, please don't hesitate to email me. All of the information, including my email address and the readings that I offer, uh, their prices and a description of those readings are found in the description box below. Yes. For those of you that are new to my channel, what I will be doing in this monthly reading is what I call the freestyle or general freestyle reading. Yeah. If you would like to get a reading with me, I highly recommend that you start with that one as that is really quite a one size fits all type of reading. We could really get you some really awesome information, uh, very clarity into a look on what's going on, whatever question or situation you are interested in gaining greater clarity on. Yeah. Also, if you are new to the channel, please understand that number one, I am not a fortune teller. Okay. So what I'm doing here, what my goal is to give you guys is to get a look into the energy surrounding you right now and to give you guys a clearer understanding of what those energies are so that you can make a, a decision that is best for yourself moving forward in your life. Yes. Again, please keep in mind that these readings are general and I'm going to, for the most part, I'm going to be talking to the uh, sun sign or star sign. I should say star sign because it's not just your sun sign. This is sun, moon, rising and Venus, but I'm going to be talking to the sign that's in question, mostly looking at it from their point of view. So if you're a cross watcher, keep that in mind. But also if I'm speaking to this, and you're uh, speaking to this point from the point of view that you're the, the sign that you're looking at because it's the sign that is in your chart, but it's not resonating as you're the person that should be spoken to here. Maybe you're the person on the other side of the equation, then please take it as it resonates. Yes. Okay. Um, also keep in mind that just because these are monthly readings, like they're dated for the month of November, it doesn't mean it has to resonate for the month of November of 2019. All the readings on my, on my channel are meant to be timeless. Also keep in mind that this is general. All right. We're, so we're talking about anything that spirit wants to bring forward to you or wants to bring to your attention. This is not love career or, or, or sp specific like that in any sort of way. Although career may come up or career may resonate for you or love may come up and that may resonate for you too. Okay. But this is just an over open-ended overall look at the energies in your life. Yeah. I would absolutely love it if you guys would connect with me on social media. I am on Instagram at divine underscore conversations. And I do like to go live just about every once in a week to do a, uh, a collective check-in energy check-in for the Insta fam. So if you're not following me there, please, I highly recommend that you do so. Let's connect on social media. I'm also on Facebook, um, uh, facebook.com slash divine conversations. Now here's the thing about it. First of all, all, both of those links are in the description box below, but um, if you would like to get a reading with me, I highly recommend that you just email me or at the very least you can message me on Instagram. But even if you do that, I'll just be directing you to email. Uh, Facebook is not the best option to connect with me, to send a message to me or something like that, or even to try and book a reading mainly because it's not always reliable in notification, uh, as to when I get messages on Facebook. Um, and I don't always remember to check it all that frequently. So you run the risk of either completely me, completely missing your message or getting back to you at a really later, t really late time. So if you would like to, please, if you can go ahead and give me a like on Facebook and all that and connect with me there. But if you would like to get a reading from me, or if you would like to contact me in some way, email or at the very least, very least Instagram is your best way of doing that. Yes. Um, so for the readings for this month, I'm keeping with my normal and I'm using the golden universal tarot for our tarot spread and then keeping with the fall atmosphere, the fall feel, 
I'm going to be pulling Oracle Guidance from the Fairy Forest deck. I love this deck and it's so awesome. And it's been really, really spot on for this month. It was really spot on for last month as well. I'm really super excited for you guys to see these readings because I feel like overall they're really, really great messages, okay? So with that said, let's get to it. Hello, Aquarius. Welcome to your reading for November 2019. Thank you so much for tuning in. All right, guys, let's just get into your pre-shuffle energy. So um, it seems like you have come out of a cycle here. Um, there's been, I want to say there's been an epiphany that has allowed you to step into a greater form of independence and probably even light work, okay? You have the Ace of Swords with the Nine of Pentacles and the Knight of Wands, all right? Um, and this does this does feel like a breakup almost. Um, and what this could be is an energy like you've dealt with a, a some sort of catalyst, okay? Uh, you've been, I feel like whomever this is for you and this might be something in which you were you know you've you you've been experiencing situations surrounding a twin flame activation or a twin flame journey um but there is definitely a deep level of independence that you have found here in terms of something that you went through in the past i'm, <coughs> I'm sorry the nine of pentacles energy is giving me an energy of some sort of breakup or finding your independence in, in relation to dealing with other people or another person then you have the queen of cups and, and the queen of pentacles which with judgment in between that this is the energy, energy that i feel like you're growing into now this doesn't have to do with have anything to do with gender okay so you could be a man or even a masculine energy um that is uh recognizing the feminine essence within okay so if even if you are a, uh, regardless of gender this doesn't have anything to do with gender so you could be a man or a woman here but energetically speaking i feel like this is masculine energy or masculinity that's becoming aware and acknowledging the feminine essence, the feminine counterpart to his masculinity within, okay? Uh, the rise of the empathy and the, the compassion of the Queen of Pentacles, I'm sorry, the Queen of Cups, with the nurturance and grounded stability and, and, and integrity and wholeness of the Queen of Pentacles, all right? That is what I really feel like is rising here within you, okay? So you could be a woman or a feminine energy, um, well, let's say it this way. First and foremost, this has nothing to do with gender, okay? So you could either be the feminine here, the feminine energy or the feminine counterpart who is going through, a, uh, uh, who has come out of some sort of cycle of hidden knowledge or whatnot, whatever, okay, with the moon, that's your overall energy. Um, and you're coming into your independence, you're coming into an, an essence of shining your light, and you're, uh, you're recognizing the empathy, the empathy em empathic, compassionate, um, unconditionally loving uh, of the Queen of Pent Cups and the, the, the grounded stability, nurturance, and security of the Queen of Pentacles. Or you could be the masculine entity or masculine counterpart here that, again, is recognizing this within oneself, within yourself, and thus coming into your own sense of independence. Regardless of, obviously, what I'm, uh, basically what I'm saying here is, regardless of where you, 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 what you reside in or what you represent energetically, whether that's masculine or feminine, there is a sense of independence coming through here and an acknowledgement of the feminine within. And that's absolutely beautiful, Aquarius, okay? So, all right, let's 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 clear that up and let's see what else is coming through for you, Aquarius, for your month of November, 2019. Let me give this one shuffle. Ooh, ooh, no, 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 no more flyers, please. No more flyers, please. All right, and I didn't even see what that was. My eyes were closed, so we're just gonna move forward here. All right, here we go. Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Aquarians, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for the month of November, 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, Aquarius, we're giving this five shuffles. 
and then we'll see what we've got for you. One. Ooh, ooh, something is overturned in the deck. Okay, that was one. Two. For my Aquarians, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of November 2019, that was three. This is four. And last but not least, number five. All righty. Here we go, Aquarius. Let's cut the deck. Boop. All right. Overall energy, the seven of pentacles. Well, excellent. And with this, I heard coming to terms with what you've dealt with. Okay, so I believe what I really feel like here is the seven of pentacles energy as your overall energy in terms of your, you know, the messages for you this month. Um, and again, keep in mind, guys, that just because it's coming through for this month, it doesn't mean it has to absolutely resonate at this month. Whenever you are guided to watch this and it resonates for you, then that's the message for you at the time. OK, um, <clears throat> but there is definitely an energy of understanding or coming to terms with what you've been through in the past and what you've experienced in the past and almost like compartmentalizing that or like putting it in its place or putting it into perspective for you and this is what's allowing for those of you that are going through this this is what's allowing the feminine energy within you to rise and kind of come forward and integrate okay because you're understanding the challenges of the past and what that actually means you know for you or what that means in terms of the dynamic between masculine and feminine energy okay so this is really putting what you've learned and experienced into place for you to have a deeper and greater understanding and basically expanding your wisdom and knowledge underneath the seven of pentacles you there you go you've got the ace of swords again okay this is exactly what i'm talking about the ace of swords is the wisdom is the knowledge is the intellect is the aha moment is the epiphany is seeing things clearly for what they truly are and understanding that coming to terms with that okay underneath the ace of swords you have oh yes the ace of cups aquarius underneath that the eight of pentacles excellent 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 so i am seeing a progression here from the seven to the eight of pentacles yes so um well, first of all, let's talk about this. Ace of Cups, love, unconditional love, love for the self, filling your own cup, accepting this cup of love that the universe is handing to you. And this is, and it, I guess you could say some of you are even looking at it this way, but you know, it's been a pretty twisted and convoluted way for getting the, uh, the universe, getting you to love yourself, hasn't it? Yet it seems to have been paying off. Sure as hell does seem to have been paying off because now that you're in this space of knowledge and wisdom and understanding, now you can actually love yourself more than you ever have before. Truly love yourself is what I'm hearing, which is then allowing you or influencing you to do more of the work to create a better life for a better future for yourself in terms of this balance that you're coming to terms with. I really feel like this is influencing you to do more work on yourself, to do the work that you need to do to the, so that you can keep yourself in this new state of awareness that you've come to, that you've found. I, I don't know if I'm explaining this to, correctly. I'm just feeling like whatever, everything that is being represented here in your overall energy is basically influencing you to do some sort of work, to do some sort of craftsmanship whether that's physical or internal. I know it is the eight of pentacles. Pentacles does very much represent the physical world, the tangible, um, but this also can represent doing that work or that craftsmanship on yourself, okay? It's very much a similar energy to the three of pentacles, which is that of self-mastery. But here, you've already built some sort of foundation or you already have some sort of foundation, and now it's just expanding on that, okay? Now, this could absolutely be career-wise, too. Don't get me wrong. I mean, take this as it resonates. Um, this could have some physical connotations. You know, you could be physically working towards something, but ultimately, everything that, ex that, that you experience in your external reality is a direct reflection of the internal, all right? So it's instead of really focusing on the external so much, it's really much more important to, important to focus on the internal because that's where everything is going to, to stem from, right? I just want to adjust my lighting here so that the cards are not so glary. 
Meh. Perfect. There we go. Okay. Excellent. Let's move forward here, Aquarius. Let's look at the uh, first half, second half of your reading. You could look at this as first half, second half of your month. Take it as it resonates. Yeah. First set of surrounding energies in the first half of your reading here, Aquarius. You have the Nine of Wands. Okay, perseverance is necessary. Perseverance is key. You might actually, now that you've reached this new level of activation, we will say, especially since the Knight of Wands came out in the pre-shuffle. And did the Knight of Wands? Wait, no, it didn't. Not, it didn't come out. Yes, it did. Yes, it did. Um, so, and, and to me, the, the Knight of Wands is very much an activated energy, someone that is, you know, accepting their inner light and, wish, and, and working to, to share it or to spread it or some sort of light work or energy, whatnot, whatever. I do feel like there is an activation going on. Oh, well, especially with judgment, too. Judgment is definitely that activation energy is that catalyst, is that wake-up call, okay? But, yes, there is a sense of perseverance that's needed, and some of you may be experiencing some negativity or darkness coming out of the woodwork now that your light is shining through okay that is there's no there's it, it's it is not necessary to worry about that that's just a natural that's just the natural uh, uh, balance or whatnot between light and dark okay but you are having to persevere and i do feel like the perseverance is coming through here in this nine of wands because this is a pretty new level for a lot of you and that's it's part of the process, it's part of the journey, so don't even worry about it, yeah? Nine of Wands is coupled with mm -hmm, the Five of Cups. So you're also dealing with some of the heartbreak here. You're dealing with some of the things that have spilled. Um, I keep, I'm hearing lightworker challenges. So you're leaving the past behind you. Whatever it is you're experiencing here, you're kind of starting to, to really feel the battle between light and dark. And for some of you, you're looking at how you have to leave some past circumstances behind, whether that's people, places, jobs, family members, um, certain situations, whatnot, whatever. You're having to leave all that stuff behind because it no longer resonates with you. So yes, you're needing to allow yourself some time to mourn, but also keep in mind that all is not lost here. You do still have these two cups behind you. And remember, whatever is spilling out of your life right now is not something that's necessary. And the divine spirit is wanting me to say specifically that whatever is spilling here is toxic. Okay, you have to let that go. But you're already aware of this, Ace of Swords, and you're already kind of doing this with the Ace of Cups. This love, this self-love that you have for yourself now is allowing you to move forward from these elements, okay? That's a very good thing. Second set of surrounding energies for you, Aquarius, in the first half of your reading, you have the Two of Swords, okay? That's all right. You are progressing from the Ace to the Two. Don't get me wrong. It is a good thing. However, there is some indecisiveness that you're dealing with right now. But I, re I do feel like if you are experiencing any sort of energies of denial within you or just inability to move forward, inability to see clearly, it's mostly emotional in nature, okay? You're going through an epiphany uh, or an awakening, Aquarius. So don't allow, don't, don't put yourself down now allow yourself to feel through your emotions if you need to just sit by yourself and just cry or allow your emotions to flow do so but do so with an intention of observing them and understanding them and releasing whatever it is that's hurting you okay you have to give yourself some time to let this flow and let this go two of swords is coupled with the knight of cups your heart is opening aquarius now, what I'm also getting with this is desiring to move forward in some sort of emotional way, desiring to move forward in terms of what it is your heart is calling for, but not necessarily knowing how to do that yet. What's, what's happening right now, or at least what I'm seeing for you right now, Aquarius, is you are entering into or you have entered into the space that is allowing you to see things clearly for what they truly are. Okay, and it's because of this sense of self-love that you have cultivated that you're allowed or being able to move into this space. But because you're new to this space, you have to give yourself some time to work out what it is your heart wants, what it is your heart is trying to say, whatever it is your heart is purging out right now, okay? Please give yourself that time. There is no rush here, yes? Your challenge in the first half of your reading here, Aquarius, you have... The Ten of Cups. Well, all right, that is a challenge here because it seems like your ten, your view of the Ten of Cups, what which represents your ultimate emotional fulfillment, yeah, it's changing. 
oh gosh, I heard by the hour, by the day, and for some of you, it's even changing by the second. That also could be why you're in this two, why you may be in this or going to be experiencing this two of swords energy, this indecisiveness. It's like, it's like all of this stuff is erupting from your heart right now and you're really in an energy of focusing on what it is you need to be letting go of or cutting out of your life. Ace of swords, five of cups, okay? Your, the, your challenge being the ten of cups is coupled with Ah, yes, indeed, that King of Cups, that good old King of Cups. What does this King of Cups represent? Emotional maturity. Emotional responsibility. And I definitely understand how this could be challenging for you, Aquarius, because emotional aloofness is kind of your MO, isn't it? Please don't get me wrong. There is nothing. There is absolutely nothing wrong with that, Aquarius. Okay, so please, please don't think that you're, don't allow yourself to think that you're being punished in some way. Everybody, regardless of their um, star sign makeup, yes, regardless of everybody, Everybody has emotions that they are going to come to have to come to terms with at some point in your life. You could stay asleep and never have to deal with them or never face them or not face them at all in this lifetime, but eventually you're going to have to wake up and, 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 and experience them. And that's exactly what's happening for whomever I'm channeling for right now. Okay. So you are, in fact, coming to terms with what truly is your em emotional fulfillment. And for a lot of you, that's changing everything in your life but please understand that this is changing for the better okay this is actually really really great aquarius your closing message or potential outcome in the first half of your reading here you have the fool oh my god yes taking a leap of faith moving forward in a new direction going on a new journey embarking on a new journey this is what's coming and this is exactly why you're dealing with all of this right now D Ooh, okay um, I think I want to title this video Emotional Realignment. And if you are watching this right now and the title was Emotional Realignment, well, you just watched me <laughs> come up with, that, with that, that title, yeah? But that's what I just heard and that's kind of what I really, that's really the message here. But this is emotional realignment because you're awakening, all right? You're awakening, especially for those of you that are awakening to the inner feminine, uh, 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 energies within you, when you start to integrate the masculine with the feminine, especially if you've been moving or acting from a more masculine point of view, and Aquarian energy is indicative of, is part of the masculine archetype, right? Regardless of your, whether you're a man or a woman, if you are now integrating the feminine side of things, oh yeah, that landscape is going to change, guys. It's only natural. It's only part of the journey. Please don't hesitate to fully embark on this. Please do not stop yourself from this this is absolutely necessary for you to really to really achieve what it is is that true ten of cups reality for you yes okay the fool is coupled with okay the four of pentacles but in order for you to to do this in order for you to embark on a brand new journey there are some things that you are going to need to let go of and that's exactly what you're dealing with now remember we were talking about, were we talking about that? Was I, I don't remember now, but I think we were talking about in the beginning of this reading how, um, oh yes, because I was picking up with the Seven of Pentacles uh, that this is kind of like a, a building phase similar to that of the Three of Pentacles, but you are, but, but when you're moving from the Three of Pentacles to the Four of Pentacles, you're starting to build a foundation for yourself. Well, you already have a foundation, Aquarius, but there are some things that you need to let go of or remove from that foundation to re or, or replace within that foundation in order for you to really embark on this new, new journey. Take this leap of faith indi indicated by the fool here, okay? That is the process you're going through right now. Excellent. Getting into the second half of your reading here, Aquarius, first set of surrounding energies you have. The Six of Pentacles. This is very Aquarian energy. Generosity, balance between give and take. But as you move forward in this journey, 
balance, reciprocity is a staple, is a mainstay in your life moving forward, or at least it needs to be. You need to be starting to integrate practices that allow reciprocity to flow within your life. Yes? Especially between the masculine and feminine energies within you. Six of Pentacles is coupled with the hanged man. So it really looks like your outlook on what is a reciprocal re re situation or relationship is changing or has changed. I am kind of seeing an, a progression here. As you move through these energies indicated by the first half of your reading, all of this is going to help you change your perspective, or, or yes, your perspective in terms of what is a balanced and reciprocal relationship, which ultimately is going to help you take this leap of faith, go in a new direction here with the fool energies, yes? Wow, this is really powerful, Aquarius. This is really, really good. Second set of surrounding energies in the second half of your reading, Aquarius, you have, okay, but then there's the Nine of Swords. All right, not a big deal. Your fear, this is all, uh, I mean, the fear here, whatever fear you're experiencing is illusionary. You need to remember that. Um, what I'm getting from this specifically, Aquarius, is you might be looking back on the past and looking, how, looking at how your actions may not have been reciprocal. Your actions may not have been balanced. Maybe you've been an energy of just giving, giving, or, I'm sorry, taking, 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 and not necessarily giving. Or on the other hand, maybe you've been an energy of giving, 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 and not being able to receive, not allowing yourself to receive, right? I really do feel like this Nine of Swords energy is representing some sort of past coming back to haunt you. But please understand that if there are memories that are surfacing in terms of some, some not, so, not so desirable past circumstances, they're only surfering number, surfacing number one so that you can um, uh, look at them and heal them, but number two so that you can develop a greater understanding of what those situations represented for you in your life. It is not a punishment. So please don't take that as a punishment or being tortured for past missed deeds. No, that's not what that is. What it is is a, a moment for you, Ace of Swords, to understand it and integrate the lesson surrounding it, okay? Nine of Swords is coupled with the Knight of Pentacles. Slow and steady moves the race. <laughs> moves the race, okay. Slow and steady wins the race. But this is slowly but surely picking apart what happened in the past just for the sake of understanding so that as you move forward in this journey, you can rebuild and rebuild stronger. The Knight of Pentacles is a slow moving energy, but he's very methodical. He's, he, he's painstakingly accurate, all right? He's not trying to make any mistakes, okay? And this is the energy of, yeah, this is an energy of you looking back on the past and un taking in, integrating those lessons so that as you're building this new foundation, you know what to avoid, what to stay away from, what you might want to include in your foundation moving forward, okay? Your challenge in the second half of your reading here, Aquarius, the Wheel of Fortune, time. Also the unknown, even though you're starting to come to terms with what it is that you truly want and truly desire, how that's going to happen, when that's going to happen, why that's going to happen, how it's all going to come together, that is out of your control, Aquarius. And that's going to be your challenge moving forward. Not knowing, just not knowing, allowing the universe to take the wheel. Wheel of Fortune is coupled with... The Nine of Cups, you see? You see, I'm saying, you are just going to have to allow the wheel to turn and allow it to bring you what it is that you desire. And you're not gonna be able to have all the answers, you're not gonna be able to know how it all works out. You really don't even need to know how it works out. All you need to do, Aquarius, is stay in alignment with what it is you truly desire. Be satisfied, be happy with what you have at any given moment, regardless of how that looks. Yeah, that is quite challenging, Aquarius. Not having the control that, you've, that, that is so comforting to you, but still allowing what it is you truly desire to be fulfilled. You're not gonna have that control. The only control that you're gonna have, Aquarius, is your own alignment to that, to that which it is you truly desire. That is literally the only control that you will have. The rest is up to the universe, and you need to recognize that. You need to come to terms with that. You need to be comfortable with that, okay? 
please understand that the universe has your back. The universe is not in the business of telling you no. The universe is gonna give you whatever it is you're asking for. It's just not gonna happen in your timing. Closing message or potential outcome in the last second half of your reading here, Aquarius, you have the Knight of Wands. There you go. There's that Knight of Wands again. There is that activation. And what I'm getting from this Aquarius is spirit is saying, please, please allow yourself to be enthusiastic here. This is a whole new journey you're embarking on. There is no reason to, to, to stifle your enthusiasm. Absolutely not. Please be, please be as enthusiastic as possible. Please look at this new cycle, this new journey through the eyes of a, of, of a child, the wonderment of a child. Please allow yourself to be youthful here, regardless of what your age is. Age ain't nothing but a number, y'all, right? You can always embody the, 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 the wonder and excitement of a child or a, a teenager or a young adult. Of course you can. Why not? Knight of Wands is coupled with the Ten of Pentacles. This to me is very much indicative of a level up, of becoming activated, of having learned a lot, completing the lessons in life so far, the prerequisites that have allowed you to now step into this activation energy. Go with the flow. You're absolutely doing the right thing. That's what I'm hearing with this Knight of Wands, Ten of Pentacles. Just keep going. Please persevere. Please do not give up. Your spiritual journey has only just begun. Because now you're getting into the real, the real meat and potatoes of what it's like to co-create with the universe. Beautiful energy, Aquarius. Okay. <clears throat> Let's close this reading here with your oracle guidance from the fairy forest. Yes? For my Aquarians, sun, moon, rising, and Venus for the month of November 2019. Here we go. Closing message, please, Spirit. Oracle guidance from my Aquarians for the month of November 2019. Ooh, okay. You have card number 34, the green man. In in initiative, yes, initiative, fertilization, action. Beautiful. This is number 34, which is a seven. Good luck. Enlightenment. Beautiful. Not so long ago, all was quiet, dark, and cold. But something has changed, and it will manifest into your world in significant ways, through you and all around you. It is a time of renewal, a time of new beginnings and connections for you. Your energy will be extending itself easefully, and you will fall in love with the new world you are creating. This is a time for you to actively pursue what it is you wish to create in your life and to acknowledge the presence of the powerful new energies all about you. Each day will bring these changes and it is as if life force itself is surging through you and every cell radiates this bright, strong, fierce new energy. To be effective, this energy must be directed, not tamed, but given places to flow into, and thus you must choose and shape the energies you are experiencing. Nature and its energies shall pour through you when this card comes forth, and it is necessary for you to quickly begin to shape these forces in meaningful ways. This is also a time when you no longer see sharp distinctions between what is outside of yourself and what is within. You feel linked, connected, a, great, a part of a great natural magical whole, and this empowers you into brave, open-hearted action. Go forward and thrive, dear one. Beautiful. So beautiful, Aquarius. So there you have it. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that was helpful for you. Again, if you'd like a look into your own situation, please don't hesitate to email me. All the information is in the description box below. But with that said, I hope you guys have a fantastic month. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our reading for the next month, our next reading for the month of December. Yeah? Take care. Bye.